Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Vampires. Alright, listen up. This is now a daily- I re Okay, I've recorded this episode twice. Uh, well, at least half of it twice. <laughs> and I'll explain here in a second. Um, I had actually attempted to record this on Saturday um, and I ran into this bug. And then I was couldn't do it. It was late Saturday, so I didn't want to finish it. I said I'll just do it in the morning. And then I ran into yet another the same bug on Sunday. And so I, I was kind of frustrated with it, trying to research how to fix it. I think I've got it fixed. Um, basically what happened was halfway throughout this episode, I realized that I had turned aging off. Now, um, the problem with that being was that our baby was never going to age up. So I had turned it back on, but I went ahead and aged up our baby to a toddler. Well, the toddler came out with this bright red hair, which I am not 100% sure where this red hair came from. Um, and I went in, sent the toddler over to this this chest, or this, um, whatever, clothes cabinet. I can't even think right now. <laughs> this uh, armoire, if you will, um, to change its appearance. And... When it got there, I couldn't get into Create a Sim nor out of Create a Sim. All it showed was, like, the toddler, and you could rotate the toddler, but that was it. Like, there was none of the, like, trait things up there. Like, you couldn't see any of the clothes. And then I went up to the little options menu to be like, okay, we'll just, I, because you couldn't do anything. You couldn't exit out of it. And basically, I couldn't even get out of the game. The only way I could get out of the game was to literally... Um, open up my task manager and end the pro like end it. And when I did that, it didn't save anything. So I had gotten 20 minutes into the episode and I hadn't even saved it. So then I thought oh, that was really weird. So I thought it was my mods. I took out my mods um, and went back into the game to try it again. It didn't work. Like same thing. Use the toddler and it would. You couldn't get in or out of create a sim. So then I thought, well, maybe the game file's broken, so I went and created kind of another family off, like, off screen to just test this out. Same thing. Couldn't do it. And I was like, what the heck? So I, like, I'm searching Sims forms. I'm really not running into anybody who's having the same issue. Now, there were some creative Sim bugs or and issues. And I was like, what the heck is happening? So I, like, slept on it the next day. Same thing happened. Repaired the game. Same thing happened. Couldn't figure it out. So finally, I was like, you know, I did full cast edit mode. Same thing happened. So I finally figured a way around it is I have to use one of the adult sims to get into create a sim and then i can change the toddler's appearance um i tested it out it seems to work but it was so frustrating so a couple of things after that um fiasco so if you ever have any issues with something like that and of course i deleted the footage but i wish i would have saved a little clip of what exactly was happening so if it happens to you you know how to to use it so it wasn't my mods thank goodness um i believe i do have those back installed uh gameplay oh other here we go yep they're all installed perfect um a couple of things i have decided to rename the child <laughs> i've been doing a lot of research and i just i don't know like i wanted something that represented the moon just like her mom so i'm gonna name her celine which is the is it the greek yes it is the greek she was a greek goddess um, and basically, it it's just her name means moon in Greek, is what Selene means. So, I thought, oh, that would be perfect. So, we're going to name her, change her to Selene. Maybe her name was like Selene Bell or something. I don't know. Um, so, what I wanted to do, I'm kind of nervous. Well, I'm not nervous. What I'm going to do is play like I was, um, and then we will age up the baby halfway, um, and that way I can save it and... If something fails, then I've learned. Of course, you would have thought that, like, the second time I tried to record it, I would have learned. But I didn't. So, whew, with that all said. <laughs> um, okay, so, we basically learned that the Train 3 offspring is my, um, one offsprings. I also, um, I, so I turned aging back on. I also selected, uh free autonomy on except for selected sim meaning that like because she's selected um she shouldn't like 
just start playing on her phone, uh, which I think might help. So, anyways, Tommy's on. Uh, it is funny because I can't even remember. We did so much last episode. Oh my god. Okay, did I give her her? Yes, I did. Okay, so we've got this thing going on. Um, so far, for whatever reason, they're all like acquaintances, which kind of sucks. But, um, anyway, it is 5.18 p.m. I'll just go ahead and have her start a very quick painting um, until it gets to 6 o'clock. Um, and then she can go out into the world. And really, we're just going to start trying to become friends with our offspring vampires. Um, I have a really good idea to the storyline with Celine. I'll change her name when we change her age up because... It'll just be easier that way, but, um, but anyways, I have a really good storyline for her. Um, supposedly there's a way you could be a vampire hunter in this game. And what I was kind of thinking is that her mom is just going to get out of control and her, her goal is to save her mom. Now, Celine will grow up to be a vampire, but she's going to find the formula to, to change herself into a human because she just does it? Is that a masterpiece? No, it's normal. I don't know why she got all confident. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so what I want to do is I want to start a gathering. First of all, I'm going to wake you up, baby daddy. Um, uh, da, 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 da. And I wanted, okay, so I wanted to start a gathering. Um, and we're going to go to the town square. Do, 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 do. <laughs> awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay, so we're gonna go here, teleport here together. Whatever. Um, the first thing, she, well, she doesn't really need to get a, well, she kind of does. Um, eh. But pretty much what I'm going to do with all of the Sims when they get down here, because they can't teleport. All of her her club there we're just gonna talk and we're going to just get to know them because eventually we are going to have to have to um, I don't know why he doesn't like that what was our treats again he's on flirty that's fine um, do a vampiric spar basically we're just gonna we're gonna be friendly because we do need to um, become friends pretty much or not friends we just have to I can't remember what the next level up is but I know we have to be friendly oh my okay um, good job there good job Luna um, but basically my thought is with Celine is when she becomes a teenager they're gonna kind of keep her locked up because she starts exhibiting this like she wants to leave this kind of cult um and i just think it's gonna be good i can't wait <laughs> like guys i'm telling you i have dreams sometimes and the way to make my dreams reality is i write them down and then i'm like oh my god i want to play this out in like a story i really should just like write a book sometimes of all these dreams I have. Like, I have a new series I want to do from a dream I had last night. I even wrote it down. I drew a freaking graphic rep representation of what exactly was kind of going on in the dream to, like, make sense. And I don't know. I just... I feel like it'll be a good one. Where is everybody else? Like... I'm trying to think the best way to be like become friends with these vampires I would assume lecture about sunlight I just okay maybe just do a bit of like asking questions ask about day you know boast about your family that's pretty cool I mean but anyway so I, I get these like visions on like and I that's one thing I've always loved about the sims is I can like kind of play them out but, um, uh, with, what's her name down here? Celine. I keep thinking Colette because this new storyline, I was like, oh, I'll just use Colette for my single, single mom's let's play. But I think I'm actually just going to end that one because I don't, 
like this, yeah, it doesn't work. Like in my head, it doesn't work. You know, like <laughs> I can't have that work. So, um, anyway, uh, that I'm actually probably going to start shortly. Um, I might get it set up today and kind of, you know, whatever, but be on the lookout. I don't even have a title for it yet. Um, so he's a business at Dewey. Oh, okay. Very cool. Uh, get to know. Well, you already know him. I just kind of feel like right now you just, you need to build, um, your relationship with him is really all you need to do. Um, I don't know. What else? Propose crazy scheme. <laughs> Tell engaging story. Show off muscles. Luna's queue is full. How is it full? Share ideas. Okay, so we're doing pretty darn good with, with him. Um, I don't know if we're quite friends yet. You know, I'm so dumb. I wonder if we did vampire alluring village. Vision. Vision. Okay, so maybe what happens if I... Uh, I don't know. Can I, like, just be friendly? Does that, like, shoot it up because he... I don't want to go out to the bars right now. Is he like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, so he's flirty around me. That's okay. Um, I would prefer not to be flirty. Um, <laughs> I mean, does it just help with our... So I leveled up in the charisma. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, have a deep conversation. As long as Vlad doesn't come over here. I'm like freaking out that Vlad isn't taking care of my baby. Oh, he is. Okay, beautiful. He needs a diaper change, Vlad. Get real here. Bottle feed. And then I don't care what you do. Are you a friend yet? No. Oh my god. Why are we not a friend? Like, I don't understand this nonsense. Uh, ask to move in. That usually means we're a friend. We're on friendship level. We could talk about offspring. That's fine. It still just says acquaintances. It's the only place I want to be. Well, yeah, it's because we make you feel freaking welcome. Like, are you freaking kidding me? I don't know why it doesn't say friend yet. Um, offer training again. I don't know. That just seems right. I think I'll... Oh. Hello. Oh. Look at all these houses they're moving in. I love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta delete notifications. Um, delete. Yes. Okay. So, I need to go get me some blood. Yeah. Um, there's people... I don't know who you are. Can I suck your blood? Yes, I can. Uh, drink plasma. We're just going to compel for a deep drink. 100%. I did end the gathering, didn't I? Let's go ahead and just end it. I'm pretty sure he's a friend. If not, it's we're close enough that it's like, um, okay, what is, what's going on? Mentor? Oh, okay, we could do that. That's fine. But now you can get this guy's blood. Yes, queen. I don't under. Oh, okay, because it gave us more more powers. Okay, that's cool. Um, so what else could we do? Who are you, Fatima? That's an interesting name. Um, it's one a.m. I'm trying to think. Right now, we have three people who have like. Part of our offspring, um, but I'm I'm positive we eventually have to change five. I need to wait to see what what people 
I have or haven't changed, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to send her home. I'm going to actually bring Vlad down here so he can also get a drink. Um, you're a vampire, I know that. Where'd that one chick go? Did she go into the bathroom? Oh, dang it. Um, so she's gone. Vlad should be hang coming down here. Um, I needed a mortal because I'm sure he needs to get his drink. Oh, he doesn't. Honestly, he doesn't. I'm not going to stress about it then. Whatever. He could do what he wants. I'm going back home with, with her. Um, I'm going to, to dispel the alluring I don't even know how you say that. <laughs> Jesus. Um, let's see. Um, let's, let's look at what we can get for power here. Um, so she, okay, so what? Influence emotion. That's actually, Luna can subtly direct the emotions of others, nudging them this way or that way. That could be good because... What it could do is help us when these people change into vampires are always sad. Which, I mean, I guess, I don't know, it's not horrible because you can always just, like, view the stars and they're fine. Uh, her social need doesn't decay anymore. That's not a problem right now. Tame thirst. Uh, no, that's definitely not going to work. And to mortal pleasures. Um, that doesn't bother me either. So I think we'll actually go with the emotions one. We could go dance. Oops stupid mouse dampen emotions becomes more resistant to changes in emotions lunas are cool i mean that could actually be good um supernatural speed but i don't really need that one deprived needs deplete the needs of other sims um that's kind of cool odorless that's interesting i think we're gonna do this one right up here so we gotta save up for that one um okay so what i think we're gonna do now let's go ahead and I'm going to have her just come up. Oh, the baby's asleep. Uh, okay, well, the baby's asleep. I don't want to wake it up. So when it wakes up, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Teleport here. And I'm going to save it real quick because your girl does not want to film this like 80,000 other times. So we're going to save, save as, yes. And then we will move on. So. Do, 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 saving because I don't want to mess this up guys okay so we're gonna and by the way I've aged this kid up probably six or seven times to try to figure out what the heck was going on with this bug and this kid came out with first time it came out with extremely vibrant red hair the second time it came out with like super light blonde hair like I'm pretty sure it was almost white kind of like theirs and then like the rest of the time it was just normal golden blonde. So I, I'm not 100% certain what's going on here. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and let's age her up. She's gonna be mad because she's probably sleeping, but you know, it's whatever. Just be fine with it. Okay, so we have aged up. Um, I wanted to make her inquisitive because I feel like even since when she is a toddler, she's, uh, Celine is very like, what the heck? I don't understand this crap that my parents are doing. I'm part of this cult, but I don't want to be. Um, so anyways, that's why she's going to be inquisitive. Um, I don't even know what hair she has. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Put her down. All right, here we go. What I'm going to do, we're going to, this is how I got around the issue. Testing cheats on, uh, cast.full edit mode. I don't know, like, okay, hang on. And you have to be selected as an adult. So I'm going to do shift click. We're going to modifying cast. Now when we, it should go into the normal cast thing and we should be able to change. Yes, it did. Perfect. Because last time, like you couldn't see that you couldn't see anything down here or this, all you could see was like this stuff, but you couldn't even use it. You could rotate your sim, but you couldn't use it. So anyway, um, 
come here, Mill. First of all, we're going to change your name to Celine because I like the fact that kind of Celine, like child of the night, if you will. So, okay, beautiful. Um, let me go in here. Ooh, do you have black hair? Interesting. Look at these vampire or these, these eyes. Like she seriously, like, I like, I want to fix them. I know it's just a little too aggressive. Like that's Vlad, you know, so I just want to fix them. I don't want them so aggressively down. Um, okay. Well, again, black hair doesn't really make sense genetically speaking because he had white hair and she had brown hair. So I kind of would like for her to have like brown hair, you know, because that would make more sense. Um, she's just freaking creepy is what she is. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like she literally that those eyebrows, I don't know, freaks me out. And then her, I just had to fix those eyebrows. I'm sorry guys. Like I typically won't do that, but it's like, no. Okay. So there she is. Her hair, beautiful, loves it. Um, Let's change her into, I feel like they would put her in something very, like, something like this, deep purple with, um, where is her little leggings here? Something deep purple with black leggings, and her shoes would probably be like the, well, I mean, I guess those aren't horrible shoes. Can we just make them black? Yes, queen. Like, that would be her. So beautiful. I love it. Um, okay, so that would be that. The formal wear. Uh, okay, the formal wear, maybe we do something like this with... I like that skirt. I just want to make it like a solid color or maybe uh, okay that's fine um I just think this is this is going horrible uh <laughs> and see we already have this this oh, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Because, like, there you go. That does it doesn't matter. That's fine. She wears a lot of same dresses. Um, um, I do like this as their PJs, but I want to find. That's one of my favorites. Is that one? But uh, maybe we'll just go with that. Beautiful. And then party, it's not horrible. I don't think she's ever going to a party. So like, I'm not too concerned with it. Um, there we go, that's fine. Okay, um, there she is, Celine Watson, future vampire hunter. <laughs> Get me a drink. Oh, I love iced tea. I'll drink it all year long. It doesn't matter. I like hot tea too, but I just, iced tea, just, oh my God, something's so good about it. Okay, so, glad that didn't glitch, but who are you? Can you leave? Talk to, oh, well, that's true. She's a stranger. Um, Do I have a club gathering going on or something? Did she just never leave? Oh, she's leaving. Okay. Anyway. Um, so the idea is, is that we're going to give this room to Celine. Um, eventually, we're going to put her up here. Like when she's a teenager. Because the thought is, is that it's like, oh, you know, her parents start realizing that she's like, trying to morph into something she's not so they're like no your room's up there which is fine because they're fighting but it, it works out well so that's eventually going to be her room or at least like her um 
I don't know, like her study where she's going to study about these vampires. So maybe that's what it'll be, but this will be her room down here always. So, um, what I actually want to do is let's do a little kind of, I'm just going to put the computer up here because I don't know if it could actually fit on this stinking thing. Um, I don't think it can. Uh, delete. Um, can it like move down any? Okay, first of all, this thing's creepy. We have enough of these in the dang house. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to put in a bookshelf up here. I think that would be kind of cool. This is, like I said, this is going to be kind of like her little study up here. Um, did it, there's no bookshelves that came with, I feel like that would have been, I mean, they missed their mark on that one. I feel like princess, this will be good, I guess. Oh no, it's not going to fit. What? Oh my God. That's annoying. Um, We'll put that there. Um, we'll get her a computer up here. I feel like we might as well just get her the nicest one that we have. Um, there we go. Uh, as for lamps, that's kind of a cool one. Cool. Put that up there and then Actually, we need to kind of move it to this side. Oh, oh, can you get up there? Get up there. And then we'll... Can it not go on... It, it's weird. It can go on this one this way, but it can't go on this side this way. That way. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sit here and deal with that. Um, okay, so then I kind of wanted to get a chair, like, that she could sit in when she be, I know, I, I realize this is something I don't need to sit here and do, um, yet, but, you know, I am. <laughs> I guess not. I guess that that's fine. So this is kind of going to be her little, little lair for now. Um, going down to this level, let's, we're going to, for now, get rid of Actually, actually undo. Here's why I want to do with that because I want that same one. We're gonna put it in our inventory for now. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, and we're going to go in here and kind of do up this for our little toddler. Um, so I like this one. It really kind of matches. So there we go. We'll put that in there. Um. Again, I kind of want to put that in the inventory just for now because it's something she could have later on. Um, I almost kind of want to give her like these grand doors. Um, I don't know if that's going to compromise too much of the... Oh, because there's some windows there. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so what if we get rid of... What if we move the, oh, I guess we can't move them there. That kind of stings. Why can't we move that one there? Doesn't make any sense. Intersect with walls. Oh, cause that's a wall? That's really weird. Okay, well, I want to, Put like a grand door there and there we go. That works. Perfect. Okay. So that does that. Um, I don't know why that window won't disappear, but I will just go this way. That's weird. It won't go down. What if I go back into live mode? Well, that made it disappear. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's get her some toys here. We'll just, do those come in different colors? Oh, they got it, they do. Um, we'll get her some blocks. Um, let's see, we will get her obviously a toy house. You know her daddy bought this for her. 
um, right there, perfect. Uh, we'll get her a potty, um, purple potty, duh. Um, and I'm gonna put this right here. Actually, no, I'm not. Right, yeah, right there is fine. Um, what else would she need? Although this one's kind of cool too. I've never actually kind of viewed these. Um, anyway, we'll get her a bookshelf because, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the bookshelf. Um, because I think that that's so important for her as a, um, as a kid. Uh, we just put it, yeah, put it right there. Um, we'll get her a toy chest. Uh, I'm gonna put it there. Uh, beautiful. So she's got all this stuff. And I'll even like plop down this Wablet tablet because I feel like she could use this as well. Um, she has a bathroom in there that can help her with. Obviously, the nanny is gonna do a lot of taking care of her, especially during the day. Um, I'll get her a high chair as well. Um, Let's see here. I was just seeing that if I like, I kind of like this wooden one. I feel like this is like old and I love it. So we'll get her a high chair up here. Um, here, I want to move this around. No. Sorry guys, I, I don't know why I'm taking so long on this. Uh, um, oh geez, okay. Cause that's, it's just cause it's like her playroom and her bedroom. Um, I suppose, could we just move that a little closer? Go like that. And then do, um, you know, I guess it doesn't matter because they can't use the toilet, but I feel like she'll need something eventually. It's not going to fit in there for sure. Now, where could we put said toilet? Can it go there? No. What if we, like, okay, hold on. I got an idea. Sorry, again. <laughs> put the toys at the end of the bed. Put the, um, the high chair over here over by the window, um, put the potty chair there so the toys can go here at the end of the bed. That's fine. The Wablet tablet can, I guess, stay there. That doesn't matter. So, all right, Whew. we got everything <laughs> she needs. Holy goodness. Although I, I, I to be fair, I did kind of want to give her the, um, this thing. Oh my gosh, guys, what is my problem? Why do I, like, want to give her everything in the world? <laughs> um, okay, so then there's that. And then there's a really cool chair somewhere that I like. But, you know, let's not worry about it. The, that's that's fine. Um, oh, you know what? I don't know if she can actually get to it. Um, well... Whatever, it's meant for decoration anyway, so. <laughs> All right, that pretty much took the rest of our episode. All right, guys, that's it for this week's episode. Thank goodness I was able to get it finished. Please like and subscribe and comment down below for feedback and suggestions or if you guys have ideas of what you want to add to the storyline. And also follow me on all my social media. The links are in the description below. And have a great day. I'll see you next time.